Tragedy strikes Perry High School, multiple people shot on students first day back. Perry, Iowa, witnessed a horrific incident on Thursday, as multiple people were shot at the local high school, marking a devastating start to the students' first day back after their annual winter break. The incident occurred before the school day was set to begin, minimizing the number of students and faculty present at the time. According to the authorities, two gunshot victims were swiftly transported by ambulance to the Iowa Methodist Medical Center in Des Moines, located approximately 40 miles southeast of Perry. Sheriff Adam Infante of Dallas County revealed that the suspected shooter in this tragic event has died, with investigators suggesting a self-inflicted gunshot wound is the cause. The law enforcement official providing this information spoke to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity due to the ongoing investigation. The shooting unfolded amid the Iowa caucuses, not far from where Republican presidential candidates were actively campaigning. The incident prompted a rapid response from law enforcement, with reports of an active shooter received at 7.37 a.m. Thursday morning. Officers arrived on the scene within seven minutes, discovering multiple individuals with injuries. However, specific details regarding the number of victims and their conditions remain unconfirmed. Emergency services flooded the area around Perry High School, which houses both the town's middle and high schools. Xander Shelley, a 15-year-old student, described his experience of hearing gunshots while waiting in a hallway before the start of the school day. Fortunately, he managed to escape into a classroom, sustaining minor injuries and alerting his father via text at 7.36 a.m. Rachel Cares, an 18-year-old senior, recounted the panic that ensued during jazz band practice upon hearing what she described as four gunshots. Cares and her classmates, following their teacher's instructions, quickly evacuated the premises. The FBI, in collaboration with local authorities, joined the investigation led by the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation. Perry's mayor, Dirk Kavanaugh, acknowledged the uncertainty surrounding the incident, emphasizing the absence of confirmed numbers regarding those involved. Distraught parents anxiously awaited information about the safety of their children. Erica Jolliffe, whose daughter reported being rushed from the school grounds, expressed concern for her son Amir, a sixth grader. The town's diversity was evident, with 31% of residents being Hispanic, compared to less than 7% for the state, according to census figures. As the community grapples with this tragic event, unanswered questions linger, and local officials, including the Perry School Board and Superintendent Clark Wicks, are yet to respond to media inquiries. The repercussions of this senseless act of violence are felt not only within the school but throughout the entire town of Perry, leaving a scar that will take time to heal.